welcome back to my channel. My name is Smokey the Bear, and today I have for you a Torrid haul. So, I didn't initially plan on doing a Torrid haul, but before I knew it, I had accumulated so many new pieces. A lot of them, hello, a lot of them uh, swim pieces. Actually, is it a lot? I have like 40 swimsuits, but you know what? With Torrid, I feel like you need to really get a gauge on the sizing of the swimsuit. And yeah, I picked some up and then Tori was like, hey, you wanna work together? And we did a little we did a little thing, not this, this is not sponsored in any way, uh, but we did a little thing and I was like, you know what, the people need to know about Tori's new swimwear because it's not the most inexpensive thing you're gonna find swimwear wise, right? It's not the most expensive either because holy cow, I almost bought a $200 swimsuit yesterday like to show you guys and then I was like, Sarah, what are you gonna do that for? Who's gonna buy it? Is somebody gonna buy it for $200? Is that how much we're spending now? I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Anyway, that's enough of this hat, right? So I got this hat from Tord as well. I just don't think I have like a hat head. Some of you do it so well. Some of you look like Smokey the Bear. And I don't like that. So it is a cute hat. I did buy it in like a medium large though and it's like, I have a lot of space and I feel like I have a big head so uh, maybe the size below that would have worked out better. Anyway, what I do have, what I do like, what does fit is this. Okay, so first of all, we have, let's, let's start with the outside. First of all, we have this little caftan, caftan, I don't like saying the word, I'm gonna be honest with you. But we have this, it's matching the swimsuit obviously. And I think they have a couple of different ones. Um, oh, what size was it? I, see, some of the stuff I took the tags off of because I want, oh, the hat was $25.50. <laughs> I wanted to uh, take some pictures and stuff in them, so I had taken the, the uh, thing off. <gasps> okay, so the um, swimsuit, this swimsuit was $109.50. They do always have a sale, basically, but uh, that's the regular price on it. And then this uh, chiffon maxi caftan, caftan. Capitan was $64.50 and I got it in a size 1-2 and the swimsuit, which I'll talk about in a second, I, I do like the Torrid, I don't know how recent it is, but they did switch up the way that they size their swimsuits and I gotta tell you, spoiler alert, it works a lot better than it had in years past. So um, yeah, like I said, $64.50, I'm 5'4", it's not quite, oh you can't see, it's not quite, um, can you see? I'm blind, I don't have my screen in here. It's not quite floor length. I have a couple of inches still. It does have a split on the side. Um, I don't think it needs to go all the way to the ground. In fact, maybe you don't want it to go all the way to the ground. I mean, this would go good with sandals or whatever. I could wear this with uh, other colored swimsuits as well, not just this matching one. In fact, I'm not a big fan of the matchy-matchy, so I probably wouldn't wear it with this exact swimsuit. Um, anyway, though, beyond that, it's obviously it's very comfortable, but uh, I got the 1-2, as I said, and even though these drawstrings here that were on the waist, they, you know, you can use them, obviously, to tie it together. Where did they go? Ugh. Do I put it back on? Okay, let's just put it back on. Even though you can use these to tie it together, I mean, I guess you can just kind of cinch the crud out of it and you can kind of decide you know if you wanted to leave it kind of open I'm a big fan of the open look um, and or if you wanted to pull it closed totally up to you so it's a cute little cute little fit cute little fit $64.50 I mean use a coupon Tord always has either their buy one get one 50 sale 30% off or a coupon that they'll send you in the mail so just sign up for that you'll be alright so this swimsuit though this is a size 2 DD, check it out, size two, double D slash F, okay? That, that's new. They never did that. And last time I bought a swimsuit at least, this is, they might have been doing it last year, I'm not sure. I don't think I got very many Tord swimsuits last year because as much as I always love them, like Tord reminds me of just old school me. I, it was like my first love for real. I started working there when I was like 19 or 20 and I was 18 or 19 probably. And I was just like so in love. I was like, oh my God, a back girl store with cute stuff. And I just loved it so much. But eventually I was like, hey, you guys need to work on your sizing, <clears throat> your quality, your prices. Make them all match. So anyway, I think one of their biggest trouble areas was sizing swimsuits. Cause I would get a three sometimes on top where I normally wear one and I would get a bathing suit and a three and it would be like suffocating me. And I know I'm not the only one. So I was like, who is designing your swimsuits? Because they need work, okay? Um, so now you can get a size two 
with different cup sizes. I mean, poof, genius, right? So this is a double D F. And like I said, it's like a hundred and something, 109. It does have all of this ruching here in the front. Um, I feel like if I was a little bit taller, I wish I was a little bit taller, right? If I was a little bit taller, like how much better would the torso look, right? But I'm not, I'm shorter, lumpier, grumpier. <laughs> and um, I still think it looks good. I just think that I needed like an extra inch to really fill out this torso area, but it's comfortable. Um, in this area, I find it to be very comfortable. And then the straps, I think I just need to loosen mine, but thankfully the straps are adjustable. It does have an underwire in it and it does have some padding in it. And this is not like a removable padding. This is very much almost like a padded bra cup. So for me, it works out great. However, I wear a 42C or a 40D. And like I said, I bought this in a double D slash F, okay? I wear a 42C or D, double D F is what they say this cup is gonna hold. I disagree. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't have a double D or F size boob to pop in here, but if my boob is fitting so perfectly in this cup, I just can't imagine that someone with a significantly larger breast or chest size, whatever, is gonna fit just as well because it does have the padding in there. Anyway, the back is uh, pretty much basic. It just goes all the way to the top here. And then it's a full booty coverage. And on the side, it does have this mesh stuff. And then it has this detailing. Oh, look, you can see my cheetah print chonies down there. Those are from Spanx. I love them. They're like my favorite thongs. They're seamless. They do roll down sometimes if you have the wrong clothes on. But if you do have the right clothes on, they're an amazing thong. But anyway, this is this. It's cute, right? I think it's cute. It's a lot, but it's cute. This top is a size two. It's 59.50, and it says it is wire-free, lightly lined mid coverage. So yeah, the top is in a size two, and then I mentioned, I decided to work with Tori, but I had already purchased swimsuits and stuff for this, well, not for this video, just for fun, um, prior to, so I actually have like duplicates of the swimsuits <laughs> because they ended up sending me pieces as well. So. This actually works out though, because the swim bottoms that I have on are right here, my friends. They are completely reversible. So this is the other version, right? This is the exact same pair. This is just the one that I bought that I didn't shoot in yet. And um, if you flip it inside out, boom, you got the other side and they have a matching top. So I got the bottoms in a size two. They're 54, 50. And I do think it's so cool that they're reversible because like, yeah, this is a whole look right here. And then you have this, which is a whole different look, right? And yeah, you can see some of the seam like on top. They have to sew it somehow, you know? And then it's not perfect. Like some of it will kind of pop out. You can decide to push it in or leave it. It's reversible, you know, like it's it's not gonna be a regular, regular kind of brief. The seams are not sewn the same. Um, that being said, I think it does a great job passing for a whole new swimsuit, which I think is awesome, especially if you're traveling and stuff. And I don't know about you, but when I travel, I try to get some cute pics in so I can post them on the gram and act like that's my life, like my regular life. I'm out here doing this, this is what I do. Um, and okay, I don't wanna carry or rather, I don't wanna pack 20 different swimsuits. Like, if they were all just reversible, girl, that's doubling your wardrobe right there, okay? So this is um, the top that I got with it. And this one I did take a picture in. I'll go ahead and post it. It's pretty, I'll post it right there. <laughs> it's pretty comfortable. It doesn't have wiring or anything like that in it either. And this I also got in a size two. It, like I said, it's it's a really comfortable fit, especially because there's no there's nothing in it. And again, the top is also completely reversible. So I mean, I'm gonna get off the reversible thing, but I still think that's really cool. So anyway, in addition, okay, when I originally saw these bottoms, I was like, oh hell yeah, I'm getting those because I'm gonna get that one and then I'm gonna get that one too when I flip it inside out. And what's gonna go with both of them? A black top. So I decided to get this one because I mean, I've been doing this for a long time, so I have accumulated many swimsuits, and I get rid of many of them every year. Um, that being said, <laughs> black tops are not hard to find in my swimsuit drawer, so I only try to get the ones that I find to be very different or special or whatever, and this one is different or special or whatever, okay? It's so freaking comfortable. It's definitely like a longer line. It has a little tie here, which is adorable, which I believe is sewn. 
Is that right? I think it's sewn, so I don't think you can change it. Yeah, it looks like there's a seam right there. Um, so it has a uh, little pads in here too, which feel very removable. I'm sure they're removable. And it's just so cute. Oh my gosh. But anyway, it has like the flutter sleeve on it. It's just super comfortable all the way around. Like no bad words to say about this. This is also a size two, like I said. It covers the whole back. This is really good like sun coverage. Hello, sun. Okay, <laughs> it's playing games with me with my lighting right now. Um, but this has really good coverage, especially if you're not trying to like overdo it in the sun. I'm a big fan. This might be like my favorite thing so far. So let's see. Oh, but I did get other stuff, you guys. I mean, I went all out. I was like, hold on. What is that, spit? <clears throat> Ignore that. Uh, I got the sunglasses to go with it. Not just this pair, though. I had to pick up this pair as well, $14.50. All right, these are cute, right? Okay, I'm gonna link them. Um, I also picked up this pair though, and I was like, oh, hey, hey, sunny girl, hey. I have spent some money on sunglasses in the past, and I'm just always like, why? <laughs> why did you do that, Sarah? And then I also got like shoes and stuff. I got these shoes right here. These are the ones that I've always thought they were like kind of ugly, but they're comfortable. And I want to say they were like 30 or 40 bucks. I do tend to size down. I got them at eight and a half and they were 39, 50. And, oh no, just kidding. That's the other pair. <laughs> That's this pair. I got these in an eight and a half and they were 39, 50. Um, I do tend to size down a little bit with their shoes because I find that they're wider with shoes, which they sell wide with shoes. I find that they're very big <laughs> so a lot of times in their um, heels and wedges and stuff like that I will size down a full size um, but other times with stuff like this I'll just go down half a size so I typically wear a nine and for the most part I don't have to buy wide with shoes I don't have um, despite how big and jiggly my legs are my feet have never been super duper wide um, so I can usually get into a regular a regular shoe not all the time though but anyway these are so comfortable I mean are they cute I don't I don't think so I've never been into the Birkenstock look I always thought they were like a little bit ugly but I don't care. Sometimes I wear stuff that's ugly on purpose. I had a white pair back in the day. Oh, I wore them to death. I wore them till they were gray. And then I also got this pair, like I said. These are harder for me to deal with because, my friends, okay? <laughs> because like, it, it only covers that front part of your foot and that's hard. I'm not good at that. You gotta cover like most of my foot, which I know I never did the plus size heels video. I was thinking about it this week though. I was like, here, let me write down my tips or whatever so I can finally film it. Um, but that is one tip. If you want a shoe to be comfortable, it needs to cover, not cover, but it needs to hold on to as much of your foot as humanly possible. And these are just not doing that. They just end towards the front of my foot, which is, I don't know. I like them. I'd wear them, but not that far. Aren't they cute though? They're cute. I like them. I have more outfits, but I guess I'll run through the other stuff. This bralette, I'm not going to put it on because I showed it to you guys in the vlog and I bought two of them. It's cute, right? I liked it, whatever. Um, I got it in a size one and it was $34.50. And like I said, I got two. So I think it was a, there was a deal. It was probably like, it was less than that. I know it was less than that when I bought them. Um, and I got it in a one because they're bralettes. I normally wear a one. However, not this time. It was uncomfortable. It was just, it was too uncomfortable. And normally, like I said, um, especially in the boob and like, what is this? Like my ch boob, what is it called? When I'm only covering this part of my body, I'm normally a little bit smaller. Um, so these ones just ran small for me, so I just have to size up, uh, which is why I'm not gonna put it on because it doesn't look real good. Uh, and anyway, I wore the other one. So, and then I had picked up some panties as well. I just got some full coverage briefs and I got these ones. This is a lace thong, which they've had some really great lace thongs in the past and I can't find them anymore. So I'm just gonna try these bad boys out and see if like they can compete. I also got these boy shorts. I wear uh, underwear like this, like these bigger, super full coverage. I wear this to sleep because I like to um, get out of the thong when I go to bed. And I like to wear boy shorts or just a full coverage brief. Uh, Cause during the day, typically I wear a thong. That's just my preferred panty, but I don't like sleeping with it. Cause I feel like, I don't know if I'm doing acrobatics while I'm asleep or what, but I feel like it just gets all jammed up in my butt and it's not always very comfortable waking up to that. So I also got another thong here. I got these all in a size two, I believe, um, which is what I normally do. I normally go for a two, especially on the bottom. Oh, and one last pair. 
Look at how big and comfy these ones look. I'm just gonna slip them on right now. These are boy shorts and they look like legit just shorts. Like, these are some big old draws, bro. Like, can people just really wear boy shorts around? Like, it's an underwear. Look how big these are. These are bigger than my damn. <laughs> I love it. These are just like booty shorts as far as I'm concerned, okay? Um, but it's bigger than like the swimsuit bottom, which is, that's pretty, that's pretty big for a pair of draws. I mean, for me at least, I'm not real big on that. <laughs> so many messages today. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, this is the basis of the whole video. I ordered this specifically because I was like, I gotta show it to the world. It looks so cute. And I know so many of you do not want your legs fully on display or you just want to look like hot stuff. This is going to satisfy both of those things. So, I saw this on the website and I was like, immediately add to cart, purchase, add coupon code, search for new coupon code, found a coupon code that works, insert that, okay, go to PayPal, check out, boom, it's at my house days later. So, I've had this for too long. I've held it a secret for too long. <laughs> so cute. Okay, so I got the top in size two. This I got in a D slash double D. How do we feel about that? A D slash double D. Okay, and then 68.90 for the top. It's a long line top. Again, a padded boob area. This is padded, padded. This is all a big chunk of padding. This is padded, girl. If you got little boobs, this is for you. Um, it's adjustable straps. I didn't address. I, I, I didn't adjust them. They have this little tie in the center just for fun. So cute. And then in the back, they have this clip here, like an actual closure. And then this part does not open at all. So you do have to pull it on over your head. It wasn't super tight though, which I appreciate because sometimes their stuff is like, we don't want you to breathe. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Um, so anyway, it's the bottom though. That's so stinging cute, isn't it? Okay, so the bottom, you can actually adjust how much or how little you kind of hike it up but as you can see it's a skirt and underneath you have like your full brief or whatever um it's obviously one piece but it's so freaking cute you guys it's asymmetrical which i love oh my gosh it's so flowy it's not like overly fitted or anything and then you can like i said tie this to make it tighter i got them in a tube 2x 1820 54 90 is how much it costs. So all together, this is about <clears throat> what a little over a hundred dollars for this swimsuit. So cute though, and I have been looking, 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 and I have not seen a swimsuit like this yet this year. So it's so freaking cute. Oh my gosh, I'm excited about it. Back again in another swimsuit. This is actually the last one. Oh, I messed up my hair. This has the slim fit technology in it which is like impressive. That other one piece also had that. And um, this one is similar, kind of. Um, the back does have a clasp here. And my favorite part is the, it's not boning, but the seams, I'm not sure what you call it. It's a full coverage on the butt, as you see. Um, but you know, it kind of will remind you of like lingerie, which I love, like I love that look in a swimsuit. This one again has the underwire, it has the padding, uh, a lot of padding. There's a there's a big chunk of pad once again. Um, it's so cute though, and this one again I got a 2D slash double D. This one is cheaper than that first one I think that I showed you. Did I tell you the price on that one? This one's $98, so it's a little bit less. It's so cute though, it's like a purple leopard, this is adorable. This is everything that I need like for my waist. I love this look. It kind of has this old school kind of, I don't know, vintage-y. I'm feeling like a little Marilyn in this, you know? Just the structure of it, the whole cups with the little, you know, and the little, and the, you know, it's so cute. I like it. So um, there's not a lot to say about it besides it fits. Like I would expect a two, to fit um, and you know what while I have it on I went out with some shorts in so I did pick up a few different pairs of shorts from Torrid this pair I had taken the tags off of but I got them in an 18 I will say Torrid is not my number one spot to get shorts um, they're so hit or miss I like American Eagle for shorts I like Express for shorts um, I like fashion to figure for shorts I like, who do I like? Who do I love? Oh my gosh, I love like Rue 21 because I mean, you go in there, it'll be on sale or whatever and then you get shorts that fit you bomb that are kind of thin, which I actually like. Little booty huggers, $17, $15. 
$20. What? Look at you guys out here outfitting big girls looking cute on a budget, okay? So this has all the buttons on it. I gotta tell you, I have never been a fan of a million buttons on my shorts, okay? I find that their denim runs smaller than any other traditional plus size retailer. So Lane Bryant, I'm a solid 16. Fashion to figure, I'm a solid 16. Um, who else? I'm thinking of somebody. Else. Oh, even like Rue 21 and stuff. Dude, at Torrid, I'm always pretty much in 18. I'm a 16 in like one or two pairs, um, two styles. But for the most part, I'm an 18, which I just find so odd that they run inconsistent to my, you know, uh, to other typical sort of plus size sizing. So just keep that in mind. I find that they run on the smaller end of plus, but they run consistently within their own sizing. So take that however you want. But <laughs> I got these in an 18. They fit great. I mean, they do. They're a nice sort of, sort of midi length, a little bit short midi, if you will. It has a decent inseam on it. It has a nice high waist on it. This one I think might have had just a slight amount of gapping. Nothing too major. Um, it looks okay, I think, from the back. The, the pant leg does unfold a little bit. That can be a little bit irritating because it's sewn on the side. So if it unfolds on the center part, it doesn't unfold on the side. So it looks just a little bit inconsistent. But it does have functional pockets. Pretty comfy for the most part. And since we're here, let's run a t-shirt. I got just a basic t-shirt. This one they actually sent me. This is the Girlfriend V-neck tee 2X 1820. There's no price on this one um, just because they uh, had gifted me this. They gifted me these shorts and these shirts. So just in case you guys are curious. I picked them out, but... They did send them to me for free 99. So this is a cute little summertime fine outfit. This is pretty much me in the summertime. I mean, I am like big t-shirt, tuck it into the pocket, denim shorts, sandals, sunglasses, out the door. That's me, that's summertime Sarah. You guys, it's supposed to be 65, 60, 65, 65 degrees on Sunday. Can you believe that? 65 degrees on Sunday, what? What? It was like negatives last week. I'm fine with it. You know what, I'm actually just gonna keep this on because I have another t-shirt to show you. This one's more on the burnout, like this is what I'm talking about. I will link this stuff below for you guys because um, this is another one I took the tag off because I shot some photos in it. Um, but it's it's so comfortable. It's like one of those super uh, like worn in, like I said, it's a burnout style of tee so you can see through it a bit. Um, this is just like me. I, oh man, I love stuff like this. And I usually wear it with like a bralette underneath because I do not have time for wires. Um, but I also have two pairs of shorts here that I'm going to show you. I think they're the same thing. These again are in a size 18. These are the short, salty with distressed or something, I don't know, 49.50. Um, you know, their shorts are not the most affordable, but with coupons and all that, like, you get a pretty nice short for the price. So if it does fit you well, if it fits your body well, then I do think Tord's a great place to check out plus size shorts. These ones are on the shorter side. <laughs> Always, if you don't want short shorts, pay attention to the inseam that they have listed. The inseam on this, there's no way that it's more than three inches. So, and you guys know what an inseam is, right? It's like the seam from the crotch basically down. So like the inseam on my pants, I forget what I need it to be, maybe like 31 or something. Does that sound high? 30 maybe? I don't know, I'm kind of on the shorter end um, for pants. <laughs> but for here, like the inseam would be from the crotch basically to the end of the leg opening. And there's no way, like I said, that this is more than three inches. Three inches is not very long. If you want your thigh to be covered, depending on the length of your legs, you're gonna want, you know, five, seven, nine inches on your inseam. So just pay attention to the inseam and that'll give you a good feel for how much of your leg is gonna be hanging out of those shorts. I am not opposed to booty shorts. I'm not opposed to showing every little inch of my jelly, my inner thighs. Uh, for a long time I hated it, but honestly, like life's too short. I don't care. So um, I do like these ones. I think they're comfortable. They're always gonna be a little bit more comfortable when my leg is hanging out because there's just less in the denim, you know? Um, I think they look pretty good from behind. They are on the super short end, so they pretty much stop after my butt in the back because, you know, my upper thigh and butt together just kind of eat it. Uh, so this is like a beachy short for me. This is not a short that I would wear everywhere in the world. <laughs> like I wouldn't just run around town in these shorts, but they are pretty comfortable. They have that frayed edge on them. They have the destruction in them. They're pretty cute. I like them. And then they're, they're high rise. Are they? 
These actually feel more like a mid-rise, which is, <sighs> mid-rise is so comfortable. Like a, a mid-rise, pretty much anything is so comfortable. A high-rise looks beautiful, but a mid-rise feels wonderful. So these are both very similar. They both have that destructed sort of frayed edge on them. And then this has a crotch sticker, probably from the swimsuits. Um, and again, these I got an 18 and these ones are 45 50 slightly different price um, and typically with darker denim I find that it runs a tad bit smaller than lighter denim um, so as expected these are going to be just a, a hair more fitted than that pair um, they have huh, how do I feel how do I feel about the little whiskering in the front here I don't know I mean I kind of they fit very 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 similar so they're just like a darker wash but they they are a little bit more fitted. I do kind of like the wash on the front, but typically I tend to stay away from dark denim. I find that it's not the most flattering on me and because of that slightly tighter fit to it. These ones are looser, I think, because they get kind of processed a bit more, like the color and stuff, and they just become a looser, stretchier, more comfy fit. Um, these are all stretchy, <laughs> not insanely, damn, not insanely stretchy, but enough that, you know, it's not gonna feel terrible on you. Like I said, they have different inseams, so it's totally up to you to look at the inseams and see what inseam might be most comfortable. Literally draw a line on your leg, measure from your crotch to that line, and you will figure out how long of an inseam you would be comfortable with. Just think of how much of your leg you're willing to show, or you would like to show, or what you think would be comfortable, and that's what you should be looking for when you go online to buy shorts. Obviously, if you're in store, try them on. And also look at how much elastic or spandex is in it. Um, I say anything above 3%. You are in there like swimwear, darling. Like that is going to be a good fit for you. <laughs> All right, so anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you feel like it, and I'll be back soon with some more stuff. Bye, guys.